hello guys welcome back in this video we are going to look at the library attendance system so that we see much and let's get started so let's go straight to our browser start our browser this link will be given to you in the description so you go there then you download the system this thing is in github all right so i'll click on this download get the code now click on download zip all right so when you click on it or download this application you ask me want to already have it downloaded so i'll cancel it just go to my download first so i have attendance so i'll just unzip it okay, let me use a strap strap So the expression is done. Okay, so you can change the name of your folder to attendance. I'm just using attendance here. All right, now let's go to your search then search for ZAM. Our ZAM controller panel here. Open it. Then start the Apache and start a MySQL as well. Okay. So after that, we all we have to do we just copy the folder, attendance folder. Copy it. Then we go to the C drive. Then we have the ZAM. Side exam is to be here. It's tender. So, paste. Wait for some time. Finish opening. We have our attendance here now. Let's open this project in VS Code. Launch my VS Code. Yeah, so now let's open it in VS Code. Okay, so this PC. C. Using some. Okay, so some HD box. Then select attendance. That's this attendance. Now we have our DB. So let's click new. This is the name of the database and then after you can let's put our database. So you browse to where that's PC. Let's see. Um HT box and attendance. Database successfully imported. All right. So now we have. So this is our username, and this is our password. Politica is the username, then the admin is the password. But before that, so let's log in. We also have the student DB. Then we have our attendance DB. Okay. So now let's log in. Local host attendance. Admin, so I'm going to admin. So I've already logged in before. So let me log out. Sign. So it's called Letica. Then the password is admin. One, two, three. So sign in, and this is our dashboard. We have students, two students. Record. You can add new students. So here you enter the student details. And I see it. You can also add book. It says it should be in a Excel file. Uh, it. So here will be our attendance. Right now, we don't have any attendance record. So I'm going to take a student. Then the student is going to check in. That is, the student will be coming to use our library. So now let's open another so local host attendance and check in. Check in the PHP. 
So if you are coming to check in, you make sure you point the URL to checkin.php. So here, the student has to enter his uh, reference number. So here's the reference number. You enter the temperature. So in case, let's say, in your school, you are not using temperature, you are not checking the temperature, you can move this for by my case, you are using temperature. So let's say 34, then a tag number. You have been given a tag number, which is a 3 digits. So you enter the tag number, so 102. After I click on check in, so you see, the data is checking. All right, now let's go to admin, attendance, and see. So you see, we did the far temperature is for tag number this, check in at 6 3 a.m. So you see, the status is in. And by default, if you haven't checked out by default, set the time to 12 a.m. You can face it, you can prevent here in the user haven't checked out. You can just leave this place as empty. I didn't want to do it like that in case maybe the student doesn't check in so in your case you can use this thing all right so after that we go to where we check attendance let's add another student so let's see if can come out social coming the staff number and also let's say 33 200 and check in so we make an income computer science all right now we go Test. So now this is our attendance system. So now let's check out. Check out is out. Check out is PHP. And this is so here. You have to enter your reference number. So let's use the reading part to check out. Enter the ID and click check out. So check out that name successfully. Now let's go refresh our browser. You see the now. Check that so check in says 43 and check that says 45. So that's it basically. Let's check out for two as well. So check that so check that bad. So simple as that. It's a simple application, and very nice and can be used. The library attendance is done. You can click on the attendance to generate your reports successfully. Alright, so that is it basically attendance system. So guys, that is it basically. Alright, so guys, that is it. So you can add more functionalities to this system like the printing and the others. You can also add more features then use it in your school library. Please guys don't forget to subscribe and remember this is Colitica. More tutorials or more source code will be coming. As I said, the source code this project will be in the link I'm giving in the description. So they clone their projects and another project and use it. Alright, thank you very much for your time. Remember this is called Lexica.